what's up everybody? It's VR Gamer Dude here, and tonight we are going to take a look at Infinity Equals 1 on the Gear VR. Now, you're, you might be saying, Gear VR? Uh, well, yeah, I normally don't do Gear VR content unless it's in my lunchtime with my Gear VR series, but this one, this is actually special to me. Uh, I, I have been following the development of this app for the better part of a year. You may remember I released my first video on it back in the DK2 days. It has been completely retooled, reworked, and, and shown a lot of love by Sean, aka Doublehead, and re-released on the Gear VR platform in the concept section, absolutely free. And Sean, man, I want to thank you personally for giving this great gift to the VR community. Uh, the music is fantastic, in my opinion. The the artwork, the I mean, you can tell that he put a lot of himself and a lot of love into this app. Now, it is absolutely free. So one thing, and I don't normally, you know, shill products on my channel, but I, I do want to say, if you jump into this and you enjoy the app. I'm going to put the link in the description, head over to Sean's website and, and grab a copy of this. The, the CD is absolutely amazing. I think he's got it in CD, he's got it in digital form, but it is a very, very good CD. I listen to this damn thing all the time. I can't get enough of the music. I, I do also want to thank Sean for sending this my way. Uh, you might be able to see it there. It's a, hey, to my friend VR Gamer, dude. Yes, that is awesome. Um, so dude, thank you so much for sending me a copy of your work. So, all right, guys, I'm not going to babble about this. We're just going to jump in there and we're going to take a look. Now I'm not going to do a full playthrough because there's a lot of Easter eggs in here. There's a lot of cool stuff to find. I'm just going to kind of give you an overview of it. But, you know, as I've said, if you have a gear VR, I highly encourage you to head over to the concept section and just check this one out for yourself. It, it's that damn good. So, all right, let's jump in and check out Infinity Equals One. Okay, everybody, and we are now in the app, and let me tell you, this looks absolutely freaking lootly amazing on the screen of the Gear VR. So, basically, what you want to do is you just want to kind of chill and, and listen to the music and explore this really cool looking house and find all the Easter eggs and, and just have a good time with it, man. I mean, this app is all about exploration and discovery. Like, I just discovered some trippy pink elephants flying out there in space. So, very, very cool there. Um, so, oh, there's a big pink elephant. All right. So, basically, as you move through the space, you're going to notice when you look at certain things, they light up. Uh, you'll notice the footsteps there. That's for teleportation. So, you've got lots of movement options. You can move traditionally with the stick. We can teleport. We can snap turn with the buttons. Or, my favorite, we can just free turn and stand up. Whoa, big pink elephant again. All right. Um, so, you know, I, I do encourage playing this standing up. I mean, it, it always works in a first person perspective, uh, especially when, you know, you're kind of in a realistic setting. So it kind of helps to set that scale right. But, you know, it's however you want to play it. Um, but anyway, so as you find things, you look at them, they light up, you press your button or tap your uh, trackpad and that's going to activate them. So like, say we want to do the mushroom here. <laughs> God, I love that sound effect. Ooh, yeah, uh -huh, mushroom. Uh, so, you know, you just tap on it. Um, like these mushrooms right here, they're gonna shrink you down and make you small so you can take in the world from a different perspective here. That also plays uh, into some of the hidden Easter eggs and hidden areas that you're gonna have to be a little smaller to get to. But for now, we're going to go ahead and uh, grow big again, and we'll go and check out some more of the house here. So, 
Like I said, as you explore, you're gonna notice that you've got all of these like cool album covers. Like this is the inside jacket of the album. There's the cover. You've got doors back here. And behind each one of these is gonna be a track from the album. So you can either listen to the album just hanging out here in the house, or you can go into these posters like I'm gonna do right now. And uh, you can get kind of a, a music video or some of them have like really, really cool uh, 3D visualizer effects. We'll go check out one of those here in a second. But uh, man, let me tell you, the, the resolution on this looks great in the Gear VR. You got kind of a void theater thing going on. Uh, just checking out one of Sean's music videos here. Really love that, man. So... Alright, like I said in the intro, I'm not going to actually do this as a full playthrough, so we'll take a little snippet of each one, and then I'm going to let you guys come in here and discover all this for yourself, because that, that's part of the magic of it, is, is just discovering this, and just, just chilling on this, and just really having a good time in here. So, all right, one thing you want to do when you're done with one of the music videos, you just turn around, you find a portal here, click on the portal, and that's going to take you back to the main house. So, all right, and there we go, and we are back in the main house. Now, like I said, you've got the traditional music videos behind some of them. Um, this is one of my favorite ones right here. Um, and behind some of these, you have these really cool kind of milk droppy 3d you know visualizers and and man let me tell you the 3d on this looks amazing so much depth in that screen ah and this is one of my favorite tracks from the album right here so we will chill on this one for a minute i'm gonna shut up and listen to this for a second That's so my groove right there. Okay, no, I, I can't get sucked in because I'm still on the old Note 4, as we all know, and I don't want to risk an overheat, not during this one. Um, so, all right. So now you've got other areas that you can explore, like let's see what's behind uh, the door. So basically you can kind of go through these doors here. Um, let's see here. I think this is the beach. We'll find out. Yeah, the beach. Okay, so basically just a whole nother area that you can explore out here. Uh, this one's got some sound reactive elements. So like you got your trees over there, they're bouncing and dropping balls. And uh, you said dropping balls. Uh, you got your fireworks back here. Um, and you know, obviously in every area, you got some more magic mushrooms here. So I wonder what this little red guy does. Oh, I shrunk down and found another hidden doorway. So, I wonder what's behind door number two. Oh, hey, I've never actually made it to this part of the demo. See, I've played this demo. Whoa, hey, <laughs> high in the sky there. Uh, big head in the sky. Um, I've, I've actually been playing this in, in various forms since the DK2 days, and I am still finding new things in here every time I come in. So that's a testament to Sean's dedication to this app, man. I mean, he is constantly adding things. Now, uh, you know, a caveat to that, I think this was in the original DK2 version. I just never found it back then. So, wow, I found it now. So, uh oh, we got another mushroom here. We've got a bottle. I've never seen a bottle before. Oh, hey, check that out. Oh, that feels really cool standing up, too. I'm going to put my arms out like I'm flying. Woo, flying. Nice. Very, very cool. It's almost got kind of a Mario-esque quality to it. Like I want to run and jump. 
Nice, very, very cool. Uh, hey, big head in the sky. How's it going? Uh, okay, dude. Uh, thank you for letting me into your mushroom world. Yeah, some blue caps there. Right on. Oh, this is so like the 80s coming back to haunt me. I swear. Those people told me at that one time at Disneyland it wouldn't come back to haunt me. And I said, hey, no way. It will. And sure enough, here we are, 20 some odd years later, and it has. Oh, God, no, not 20 years. Jesus, 30 years. Oh, God, I feel old. A little Sherry, a little TMI there. Sure, too much. Okay, oop, I stayed small, but it brought me back to the main structure here, so interesting. Okay, so let's get big again. And let's see here. Well, actually, no, you know what? I want to be small again, because I want to take you guys to another really cool part of this app. Um... Okay, so like I said, sometimes you need to be small to find things, like obviously out in the beach, I, I, <laughs> Mr. Elephant, hello, Mr. Elephant. Um, so, you know, sometimes you want to be small to find things like out there in the beach. I didn't know, you know, eat that mushroom. I got small, that door appeared. Well, when you get small here, you can actually go into the fireplace, but it's not just an ordinary fireplace here, boys and girls. This is an art gallery with, hey, there's my bunnies. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so totally gonna like talk for a second. Um, that was my idea. Uh, so Sean is very, very cool about listening to user feedback and we struck up a little conversation through email and he was like, you know, Don, I got this really cool maze in the new version on the Gear VR that has, it doubles as an art gallery, but it's really big and people kind of tend to get a little lost in there. And uh, he was like, do you have any suggestions? And I was like, you know, um, you've already got this like really trippy Alice in Wonderlandy kind of feel with the shrinking down and getting big, you know, with the mushrooms. I said, yeah, throw a rabbit in there. You know, it's like the rabbit leads you down the rabbit hole, so to speak. And uh, well, now we have AI virtual bunnies. Um, I knew this was coming, but I didn't realize the app had updated to add this yet. So awesome, Sean, you added my bunnies, man. That's awesome. Okay, so what these little guys will do is, is basically they'll find me no matter where I'm in the maze and they'll always lead me back out. Um, so I can't get lost. So let's stop babbling about the bunnies and talk about this cool art here for a minute. So like I said, not just about the music. This is about art. Uh, I mean, it's, it's just the complete package. So uh, this is the art here of Kit Wilson, uh, Kitch Wilson. So basically as you wander the maze all over the walls, you've got different artworks from different artists. Uh, that uh, Sean has selected here for the app. And man, let me tell you, these art pieces look amazing. Um, I'd actually put my wife in here. She doesn't do a lot of VR. Uh, she's, you know, can't do the Oculus Rift because of her glasses, but she got curious. She saw me recording this and, you know, she likes art and, and she was like, hey, can I see that? And first thing she said was, man, this is amazing. Uh, she goes, it's really like walking through a very, very cool modern art gallery. Now, obviously, we got more mushrooms in here. Um, you know, with the mushrooms here, we can, oops, wait, we can shrink down to kind of get a different perspective on the artworks. So now I'm like really tiny here, and those paintings look huge. But for the sake of getting through the maze, when you shrink down, you do move a little slower. So I'm going to go ahead and stay big here. Um, and I'm not going to go through the entire maze. Like I said, I want to leave things for you guys to find, but just know there is a ton more to the maze here than what I have shown you tonight. So, all right, bunny, let's take us home. Little bunny guy. All right. So, and yep, you did your job, buddy. All right. Kick ass, thank you very much for showing me the way out so I didn't get freaked out and lost. 
So, all right, we are back in the main structure here. Let's go ahead and get big. So, I think that pretty much covers it, you know, like I've said like a billion freaking times during this. I don't want to, you know, throw too many spoilers in here. I just wanted to kind of give everybody an overview of the, oh, that's kind of trippy how the sky moves in that mirror. Sorry. It's like I'm, my ADHD is kicking in. Ooh, shiny. Ooh, ooh, cool. So like I said, I didn't really want to, you know, give a lot of spoilers. I, I want you guys uh, that have the ability to come in here to come in here, explore, find the Easter eggs, you know, tell me about them in the comments. Hell, there's probably stuff in here that I haven't found. So if you find something that I haven't, man, share. Let's let's all like kind of map this mother out. Now, before I go though, I know there's been an update and that mushroom was never there. And it doesn't look like ones that shrink you down or make you big. It kind of looks like that one. Maybe it's just going to change the color. But you know what? I think I'm going to jump into this one and kind of see what it does. Oh, okay. This is different. Whoa. Okay. Oh, cool. This is the music video. Um, Sean put this out on YouTube, I think, a week or two ago. And, wow. Okay, that is freaking awesome. I'm gonna stare into the face of the creator of this magical realm, and, and, man, I'm gonna do it right here. I'm just gonna talk to you, bro. Thank you. Thank you so much for giving the virtual reality community this awesome gift, brother. Man, I tell you. You know, if you like music, good music, if you like art, if you like the trippy side of VR, you're doing a disservice to yourself if you don't grab your Gear VR as fast as you can and download this. It's in the concept section, like I said in the beginning, absolutely free. And, you know, I'm going to throw out one more plug. If you come in here and you are as amazed as I am at this app, Go over to the link I'm going to put down in the description. Grab a copy of the CD or the digital music. Show this brother some love, man, for everything he has given to us. Uh, you know, what a, what a freaking phenomenal gift, Sean. So, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And, you know, I also want to thank you guys for watching to the end of the video. And, you know, if you're one of the subscribers here on my channel, I can't thank you enough. Man, we are growing so fast. Uh, we've passed 2,600 subscribers this week, and there ain't no stopping it now. I mean, it's all up to you guys. I mean, you guys keep liking this stuff, tweeting it, sharing it, leaving me comments, and, you know, that means the world to me. I, I love the interaction. So, you know, guys, thank you very much for what you're doing. Keep it up. Everything that you're doing is helping me to grow and, uh, and, and you know, produce better content for you guys. So... And if this was your first time coming in to watch today, man, I can't thank you enough for coming by and checking out what I do here on my channel. Um, it, it is truly a labor of love. I love VR and I love interacting with you guys. So if you loved what you saw tonight, head over to my main page, check out the rest of what I've got, you know, in my library there. Check out what the rest of the VR spies are doing there on my sidebar. These are, uh, you know, a great group of guys that I was blessed to get aligned with out here on YouTube that are all out here working hard every day to bring you the best in virtual reality entertainment. And, uh, you know, I'm sure they would appreciate your support as well. So, but for me tonight, that's going to do it. This is VR Gamer Dude. Look, Sean's going, yeah. He's like bobbing his head going, yeah, brother, you're done. So, uh, thank you very much, brother. I appreciate it. This is VR Gamer Dude. Signing off, y'all. Peace.